Yeah, cheers. Look for this. Um, uh, with Stenil going, then is uh, looks like he's off. Uh, very disappointed. To be perfect, if I'm perfectly honest, well, <laughs> disappointed is an understatement. I'm fuming. To be honest, it's the worst decision they could have. I think if these this board are gonna let the best manager we've had in years, and I mean years, it was probably longer than I've been going to games, it's probably been him the best, best manager we've had since I've been going, and they're just going to let it, they're just going to let him walk, and let him go, because, yeah, he's giving him some bad results, but he's not been backed, he's not been backed, so he's asked for, he asked for four, four experienced players to help us, help us in the championship, and you all just said no, I don't blame him for walking, he asked, he asked for help, he asked you to back him and give him some help. And you all said, no, you didn't give him any. You give him players, young players who are struggling because they've got no leadership in the team. They've got no one to guide them, to help them. They've got none of that. The, the certain players who played in the championship before, like Alex Mott, but he can't do everything. He's not an experienced player, that sort of experienced player. He's not had tons and tons of games in Champions League. He's had some, but not loads. Not, not in the hundred marks. I know they say it's going to cost money. Fucking get the money, spend the money, whatever we've got. But yeah, I can understand saying we we, we live within his means. What money gave we brought in? We spend. But are you telling me that the money we've we cooked from promotion and selling players? I don't know the exact money that's brought in. But do, are you telling me you spent it all? I do not believe one bit that you've spent even half the amount that we've got in. But you won't back him with four players. Four experienced players that he wanted. He didn't he didn't let him he asked for help. I'm not repeating myself, but he did. He asked for help. And you said no. So in the day I cannot blame him for walking, to be honest. And now I say it's thanks for memories, Daniel. Thanks everything you've done for us and I hope you get a decent he's in a decent job where owners will back you, will treat you right, and they will reap the war rewards. Basically because these these owners don't seem to they know how to run a business, fair enough. But they don't they don't obviously know how to run a uh, football club. Because they've they did rate, right, they got up so far, they've had two managers. The shocking with Mraz, absolutely garbage. Spot on with standing with ah. They've done right here. They've got him. They've got his, his manager who's got us promoted. He's integrated with staff. It fans, I should say sorry. He's got us believing and loving and doing everything we could dream of doing. And then, uh, so he's proven by getting us promoted with a fair. Thing squad last season in League One and got us up first time of asking. This summer he asked for four players. Don't you think of what he's achieved last season? We've given us promoted first time. That you thought, you know what? This guy knows what he's doing. He's got us up first time of asking from League One to the Championship, and he's asking for four players to help us survive in this division. And you said, nah, we're not going to bother. So you've dropped a bollock, a big massive bollock, by doing that, I'm afraid. And where do we go from here? Who would want to take over us at the moment? I heard somebody say it's a poison chalice, which is well, which is well uh, this board's in charge because unless you get a yes man, but oh yes man, yes, oh, yes sir, I'll do this and that, but... What's it going to achieve us? It's going to get us nowhere. We're still going to have play. We still need experienced players. Is it going to say, nah, we don't need experienced players? He comes in and we've got no experienced players and this still continues. What are you going to do? Say, so it gets to January time and we've still, so we've won one more game or we're still in the same position. We've got to just a couple extra points. What? You're going to sack him as well? Or he's going to walk? No? Even a yes man is going to walk because he's going to be like, wants something and you're going to give him shit basically
He's wanting, he's going to want steak and you're going to give him fucking corned beef. Don't get me wrong, love corned beef, but he's asking for a bit of steak, a little bit of steak and you're not doing that. I'm sorry to say. So, who would, who would want to come here? I've heard names banded about since some silly names banded about as well, but I don't personally want to speculate about who's next measure because you might as well think, you, if as fans, you might as well think, you might as well just do this. Think of a manager you don't want. And then that, you might be right. More than likely get a manager we don't want. Because if you think, oh, I want Gary Rowett, oh, I want Mick McCaffrey, oh, I want Neil Renfern, or whatever, they're not going to come here. Red as mighty might think, I love that club so much. That I'll, I'll come, I'll take it, but it won't last because he's not going to get what he wants. He's going to think, you know what, it's not right, and then he'll go. So you might as well think of a manager you don't want, and then they'll probably get the job. Like Joey Barton, won't want him in a million years, near my club. I'm sorry, what's he achieved? Nothing. So, I won't want him near my club at all. So, I'm not just going to speculate with managers because who'd want to come, to be perfectly honest. So, all I can say is it's fun being a Barnsley fan. And yet again, we're going to be back to square one next season Looks by the looks of it. Unless something massively changes and they think, wow, we have a med drop of ball here, we stand on leaving. Ooh, we'll get a manager and ooh, we'll gain what he needs. Basic game experience players and we survive. Then I can only see one thing happening. And it's a moment of time we could be Rotherham's record total of low points in this division because these players' confidence is so low and it's going to be even worse now because Stendhal's left. And they're going to think, wow, he's left. And there's going to be players in general. You, you're telling me Woodrow's going to want us if he keeps on scoring for us all. Tries and keeps on scoring for us. You think he's going to want to stick around? Clubs are coming for him and think, yeah, he can score a few goals in a struggling side. What's he going to do in a decent side? You know what I mean? So we might go. He could go. He might think, you know what? I'm not liking it. I'm not liking the bottom. I'm not liking what's happening. He could go. So, all I can say now is thank you, Daniel Stendhal, for everything you've done for us. You've given us some great memories for everything, for everything and good luck for the future. And board. You can do this. Bye-bye. See you later.